San Diego may be up there with one of the most expensive cities to buy or rent a home in California. But lawmakers say that could soon change if you're willing to sacrifice some space. A new package of state laws aims to speed up the construction of new homes commonly referred to as granny flats. News 8's Lamore Abrams has this special report on living affordably in California. Hey, you want to go jump on the trampoline? Yeah, yeah. All right, Ben, let's go. Amelia Kovaleski recently moved to San Diego from Cleveland. Are you having fun? She wanted to be closer to her daughter and grandson, even if it meant downsizing. I lived in just under an acre of property with woods behind, and that I miss, you know, the uh, open spaces. Yeah. She's now living in her daughter's Point Loma home, but plans to move to her own and she's not going very far. We're going to convert this garage into a granny flat. Yeah, it'll have its own address. Kate Kovaleski is spending about $200,000 to convert a garage into an apartment for mom. That's the average cost to build a granny flat in California. And she says beats the $900,000 for a new house. So we can have a lot of family time together, but then we also have our, you know, each our own separate little spaces. Their solution to living comfortably in a very expensive state. I knew the home prices were, for me, ridiculous. The Kovaleskis are part of a growing number of families turning to these so-called accessory dwelling units, better known as ADUs. Um, there's all kinds of different combinations and different uses. And Greg Cantor is no stranger to the concept. His company, Murray Lampert Design, says popularity and production of ADUs is through the roof. He credits new incentives from the city of San Diego. The fees are mostly waived. The, the plan check fees and the inspection fees have been waived. There's still utility fees and some other fees that are not waived, but it substantially reduces the cost in fees for someone to do one of these units. Now the state of California is taking ADUs to the next level. This year, a slate of new laws attempt to make it easier to build them, not one, but two, on a single lot. Before the new legislation, you could either have one granny flat or one junior unit attached to your home. Now you can have both for a total of one, two, three homes, all on one lot, all with the promise of little to no red tape. Let's follow the regulations and the rules. We will approve it same day. Gary Geiler is the deputy director for San Diego's Development Services Department in charge of preparing the ground for a sort of backyard building boom. The goal is to increase the supply of housing. He saw hundreds go up when San Diego slashed permitting fees last year, but expects the new law to generate thousands more. In some of these neighborhoods and some of these lots, they can handle one or two more units. With programs like this, we will have the flexibility. Over at the county, Supervisor Nathan Fletcher is getting even more creative. Well, we have a shortage of housing across the board, and it's impacting everyone, whether you're homeless or whether you're working full time. He wants to pay homeowners to build an ADU on their lot. The county would have control over who gets to live in it. The homeowner might get something out of it down the line. The benefit to the homeowner is at some point they will, they will get to keep that ADU. Um, the benefit to the public is we could rapidly infuse a number of units of affordable housing into the market quickly. Neither plan to add ADUs requires additional parking. I just hope that there's some controls. I mean, I just don't want it to become like a monopoly city. What does that mean for people trying to get through the street or park their car? There will be additional um, parking impacts, perhaps in certain neighborhoods, but as I said previously, a lot of these um, companion developments include parking. What do you think about my little house here? <laughs> Back at the Kovaleskis, the only real worry is for the next generation, a new crop of home buyers looking for an affordable place to live. There are so many young people coming out here to follow their dreams, and they need to have some place to stay, so I I think it's good. Now, it may not be good for everyone. There are some rules a new ADU homeowner will need to consider. First, the units must be built for long-term, not short-term rentals. And secondly, the homeowners associations will have no say. The law trumps HOAs.